Yes, I would. Um, Tom is a retiree from Armstrong, as well as every other retiree in Lancaster County. Because everybody I know that's retired worked at Armstrong. But anyways, he is uh, he has been involved in SCORE for how many years, Tom? 13. 13 years. And uh, I have a SCORE mentor. It's not Tom, but it's, it's, an, it's an two other gentlemen. But I've been going to SCORE activities for years. And these guys do a tremendous job helping businesses. And I thought it would be... Uh, I thought it would be nice to have him explain what they do for business owners. And you hear my dog barking. I'm sorry. Murphy. Um, yeah. Somebody walked in the door and he also is going to talk a little bit about mentors and, and, and how uh, people can become a mentor to young business owners. Take it away, Tom. Very good. Thank you, Glenn. Um, SCORE uh, as an organization is its purpose is to help small businesses and nonprofits succeed. And um, we're uh, a, a nonprofit, we're all volunteer, and we're tucked under the umbrella of the Small Business Administration. So truly we can say, hi, I'm from the government and I'm here to help and mean it. Um, we, uh, we have about 80 people in the organization, about two thirds of them are retired. Uh, and, and not all from Armstrong. Um, and uh, about a third are actually working full time. And the way that works is that um, of the 80 people, about 40 do mentoring, which means that either on a one-on-one -on -one basis or on a team basis, they would meet with a client who um, has asked for help uh, and um, provide whatever assistance they can. Um, oftentimes what happens is a, a client will contact us and ask for help in one area like marketing and we get involved and find out that actually there are a number of issues. It might be finance, it might be HR, it might be a number of things and um, we're able then to pull in additional SCORE mentors who have that expertise um, and help on a broader basis. So we have most uh, uh, areas of business covered. Um, and so when we can't actually help somebody, like one of the areas we're not strong in right now is real estate, we can reach out and um, we have clients um, who are in real estate that can help us. Um, we, uh, we helped almost 5,000 people last year. And what was interesting about last year was that more than half of those people are already in business. When SCORE started, it was largely um, clients who were thinking about starting businesses. Uh, but in the last several years, more and more people who were in business, and Glenn is an example of that. Um, Susan Zager at Brandt Store is an example of that. Um, more and more people in business um, have come to SCORE for help. They, um, they have some kind of a challenge and they're just not sure what to do about it. And SCORE services are free as opposed to uh, paying some big fee to an outside consultant. So um, that's kind of what we do and, and who we are. Um, we've been involved in E-Town actually for, for a long time. Um, as Glenn mentioned, he's a client, um, Bryant Store is a client, but actually so is your chamber. Um, we've been running a monthly business roundtable for the chamber for more than 10 years. Um, and um, so that's one area. Another area is we've helped with the chamber in their startup group. And also we've helped with their downtown business development group. So we're able to bring in resources that are appropriate and we're able to address specific issues as opposed to broad issues. If, if Glenn has an issue with finance, um, you know, we can look at that very specifically. It's not some big generic kind of a thing on finance. So that's what we can do. Um, as I said, almost 5,000 people last year. Um, we must be doing something right because twice in the last six years, we've been picked as SCORE's national chapter of the year. That's out of 300 chapters across the country. And little old Lancaster has been picked twice as uh, the best chapter. So 
that's a, that's sort of the good housekeeping seal of approval, if you will. Um, you know, when when you or somebody you know contacts us for help, um, you're getting you're getting help that um, that you can count on. That's what it really amounts to. So, one of the one of the areas that um, you may be able to help us is in this area of mentoring. Um, our requests for mentoring are up 30% this year. Uh, and mind you, fiscal year um, ended in October of last year. So that's our fiscal year, up 30%. And um, with only about 40 people mentoring, um, we need all the help we can get. So um, if you have any time to spare anywhere from uh, three or four hours a month to 10 or 15 hours a month, to help fellow business owners or managers um, be successful. And at the same time, interact with people like me, our 80 members, um, and actually learn from each other. Um, I even learn something from Deb every now and then. It's surprising, but it happens. Um, that's, a, that's a real benefit to the organization uh, and to ourselves personally. So. Um, we're here to help. We're helping a lot of people. Um, Debbie's a member of the round table. She can speak to that if you have any questions. Glenn is too, and he's also a client, and he participates in what, at least two round tables, right, Glenn? I think yeah, at I'm least- in, I'm, in the, I'm in the contractor round table in Lancaster as well. Right, there you go. So at any rate, that's kind of who we are, what we do and how you can help us. And if you have some questions or if there's something more that you'd like to know, um, have at it, I'm here. Um, it, Ken Wolf here, I, I have a question. I think you're affiliated with the, are you, is SCORE affiliated with the Business Center at E-Town College? Um, we are in touch with them um, and we exchange information, but okay. I think it's probably an overstatement to say affiliated, if that sounds like, you know, it's a cooperative kind of a thing. It's, it, we're, we've tried and we just haven't found the right way to connect yet. So he, here's my real question. I, I'm, I'm one of those businesses that charges for those service, but I understand the value of what you do. Is there any way, I'm sure there is, is there some way that we could support through a contribution, a sponsorship, support our local school? Um, yes, there is, but I will tell you, Ken, um, the best way to, to contribute to SCORE would be to contribute time. Um, we, we need help with mentoring. Um, it's kind of our secret sauce. You know, there are lots of organizations out there who run roundtables and who run workshops and stuff like that. But what we do that's different, and I think that's really important, is the mentoring, the one-on-one -on -one or the team mentoring. And I don't mean to turn away the idea of um, you know, additional resources, financial resources, but um, the time is what we really need more than anything else. So if somebody's interested in doing that, would they reach out to you? How would they? Yes, yes, that would be the way it would work. And, and Glenn has all of my contact information or I can provide it uh, however, you know, your organization would like it. But, and, you know, if, if, you, if you do consulting, if you do this kind of thing, there are opportunities um, for you to actually lay some groundwork for future work too. Um, you know, you may have expertise in an area that could lead to a presentation at a round table or that could lead a workshop. And, you know, you put your, you kind of put your score hat on during the presentation, but when it's over, you can put your own business hat on and say, okay, if there's anybody here who needs help, here I am. Thank you. Thanks for the question. I'm gonna to speak to the round table that Tom had mentioned. Um, and we would meet for breakfast in the back room up at uh, Country Meadows at way too damn early, but um, <laughs> I'm not a morning person, but, you know, I don't own my own business. However, I gain a lot of information and a lot of knowledge from sitting there listening to others. 
we might have somebody that we work with, you know, who maybe it, it brands farm supply. How can they get this? How can they do that? And, and it's like a collective brainstorming session mm -hmm. for, for, for them. Um, and it might be HR might be the topic or, or taxes. Um, but I always gain something, if not for me, for my clients as well. I know Glenn's been there. Um, I saw Kalaz is on. He's been there. Michelle has been there in the past. But um, now, obviously, we're not meeting now because of COVID. But if anybody is interested in um, meeting in the E-Town Score Roundtable, you can let Glenn or myself know and we can make sure we get the information to Tom. A big part of that roundtable is, uh, is sort of networking. We, we probably learn more from each other than we learn from, uh, you know, a speaker per se. Oftentimes what the speaker will do is lay out um, a problem or an issue, and then the group will jump in uh, with suggestions and options and solutions, which is, which is really cool. Those are actually my favorite sessions. <laughs> when we're networking and going around the room and everybody's kicking in ideas and thoughts and what's happening and so forth in their, yeah. their business and their lives. And that's really the way we learn so much from each other. Mm -hmm. uh, Tom? Yes. Hey, hello, well, I have a, I have a half-baked idea, as I usually do. Uh, Rotarians around the world have uh, interest groups, people with common interests, Rotarians with common interests, and they put together group meetings and communicate with each other to not only get to know each other, but to share ideas as uh, SCORE does. And that, that kind of thing is still half-baked in my mind how, as to how you would apply something like that or bring that kind of thing maybe to a, a, a meeting of Rotarians when we can meet and, and uh, sound out uh, who would be interested in taking that steps further in some way. Does that make any sense? It uh, sure does. Um, um, any idea that, um, that in effect casts a wider net for people who may be interested uh, in participating is a good one. Um, it's international. So, yeah, so um, let's, uh, I'll pursue that. Let me talk with Glenn about that a little more because I see him anyway, and we'll see if, um, if we can take that somewhere. Thank you. You're welcome. So are you still having meetings, but they're online? Is that true, just like you had before? Well, we, we've kind of been start and stop. Um, we stopped initially back in, uh, in April, and then um, we started up again in the fall for a meeting or two. And then when the COVID spiked again, we stopped again. So right now we're, we're suspended. Um, we've talked a couple of times about converting to Zoom, for example, but so much of the value of this group is the face-to-face -face interaction, kind of the social interchange and all of that, that we haven't yet decided to make the move to Zoom. Thank you. Do you have the technology within your group to do that? Um, well, SCORE has the technology and um, I think most of our people um, have the um, access to Zoom to be able to do it. Like Tom said, so much of it is that networking and that face-to-face, -face, you know, hey, Glenn can't be a social butterfly on Zoom. <laughs> no, I thought he was. <laughs> now, I will speak to the mentors. I, I have basically two mentors and we're still in touch um, via phone and via Zoom. So that hasn't stopped. It's just the, the round tables, you know, just haven't gone as, as we would like it to be, but. Yeah, good point. I, as the, the moderator for the, uh, the round table in E-Town, what I try to do, even though we're not meeting, is to keep my eyes open for information that I think might be valuable. And lately it's been uh, information on the revival of the PPP loan program um, you know, that gets so complicated. And I found a couple of articles that uh, kind of boil it down and make it more simple. And I've gotten that out to the, 
20 members of the round table. So I'll do that a couple of times a month. And that way we also stay in touch. So if there's something that I need to know from them, it, it triggers that. I said it many times, but especially somebody that's just going into business for the first time, they don't have the money to hire a consultant to really help them. And, you know, that phone call to score is, in my opinion, a, a, an amazing phone call, you know, and, and what you can get from them. Um, you, you'll be telling yourself over and over again, I can't believe these guys or these ladies are helping me do this. I just can't believe it, you know. Um, and it, it's a very well run, very organized system. Uh, and I really appreciate it. Yeah. This, this is Don again. What is the process to get a mentor? Um, you would go to our website, which is lancaster.score.org, uh, O-R-G. And right on the home page, there's a button that says request a mentor. And all the information you have to put in essentially is your contact information. And within a couple of days, you'll hear from the person that we call our case assigner. Uh, that's the person who tries to match the request with a mentor who has relevant experience. Um, and then those two people basically um, go together. <coughs> Excuse me. Yep, thank you. Yep. Um, Tom, have you made contact with the new president of uh, Elizabethtown College? Would there be uh, some? Next yes, event. I have not personally, but we actually have a representative on our advisory committee who has reached out there. Yes. Good. And the same at Hack. There's also a relatively new president at Hack that we've reached out to. Um, we've not yet uh, made contact with um, Rivera, who is the head of uh, Thaddeus Stevens now. So we've got to do that yet. Great. Any last questions for yeah. Tom? Well, thank you for hanging in for this. And um, again, if if there if there's any way that we can help you, um, let me know. And and I've now told you there are ways you can help us and help your fellow uh, small businesses and nonprofits. And that's by um, com you know committing time and expertise. To helping these people survive and it just lifts the whole small business community then thanks thanks tom, tom i know uh, that you worked with my father at armstrong you go back with them because as you recall i did attend a few of <clears throat> the score meetings and i can truly attest they are so well run and what a great resource we have in our community and uh, we so appreciate you coming to uh, let us know what you have uh, for us and uh, just want to remind everybody that uh, we want to support our local businesses and stay healthy and live the four-way test because now is our time. Difficult times create opportunity. Have a great weekend everybody and be well, be safe.